Today in this versus video, we have two amazing German breeds going head to head, the German Short Head Pointer and the Doberman. Are you considering whether or not one of these masses of their trade might be right for you? Then stick around as we'll take an in-depth at these two German breeds and hopefully help you decide which one would be the next perfect canine companion for you. Let's get right into today's video and explore the origins of the German Short Head Pointer and the Doberman. The creation of the German Short Head Pointer was due to a collective effort of German gunmen. They dreamed of the ultimate hunting dog that could do it all and would excel both on land and in water. It was a long venture, as some records suggest, this massive collaboration began somewhere in the 1700s, but the breed wasn't perfected until sometime in the 1800s. The goal of the best all-round hunting dog was definitely achieved by the end, as the German short head pointer has been used for hunting all manner of game successfully, from small raccoons to much larger deer. The Doberman got a very different start, and much later in the 1900s, this time thanks to one man, Louis Doberman from Adolfo, Germany. See, Mr. Doberman was a tax collector, and his job was dangerous. He had already been something of a hobbyist dog breeder and then one day it hit him. He would breed the perfect dog to accompany him on his routes. The end result was the Doberman. Though the breed was not as refined as we know today, it was still the ultimate working dog and one of the first breeds bred for personal protection which resulted in a massive boom in popularity for the breed. The German short hair pointer and Doberman are very different dog breeds, but surprisingly they share many physical characteristics. The German short hair pointer is what you would probably expect from a hunting breed with long leathery ears that frame their face. Their eyes are kind, pleasant and shine with friendliness. They have longer squared muzzles, their fur is made up of short stiff hair that can come in various solids, patch patterns and roan patterns. The German short hair pointer standard says that they are a medium sized dog and can weigh up to 70 pounds and get as tall as 25 inches at the withers. An unaltered Doberman, and I mean cropped ears and dot tail, also has floppy ears though they are more of a medium size. They have long, elegant muzzles as well as those dark, alert, intelligent eyes. They also have short, stiff fur that most commonly comes in a black and tan pattern. Though the breed is also an athlete, their bodies are muscular, but they possess lethal elegance. The Doberman is also considered a medium-sized dog breed, and they can weigh up to 100 pounds and grow as tall as 28 inches at the withers. To make a fair assessment of both breeds, it will be assumed that they are of correct temperament and disposition for their breed, and have also had proper socialisation and training from a young age. Now with that out of the way, let's get on to the temperament comparison. There is again some overlap between these two breeds when it comes to temperament, but you will also want to take note of some pretty significant key differences. German short head pointer is more of a lover than a fighter, though it can make for a really nice alarm dog. But that's where it stops, as the breed won't do much more than other than bark as an intruder. They tend to be friendly dogs with a sunny disposition that helps them make fast friends with both humans and other canines. They're people pleasers, but can have a small independent streak in them. The German short head pointer is also active, very active. They need massive amounts of physical and mental stimulation, and even if they do settle, as soon as you call them to do something, they're back to 100% and ready to go once more. The Doberman is also a friendly breed, but this friendliness is reserved more for their immediate family and people they know well, as they can be aloof with strangers. As a Doberman was bred to be a personal protection dog, they bond closely with their families and offer them endless devotion. This breed can and will take on a threat to those they care for, and they do so with a reckoning. This breed is also incredibly active, and just like the German short head pointer, they need plenty of access to exercise and mental stimulation. Without it, you will find yourself with a downright destructive Doberman. There should also be something said for working lines of Dobermans. As compared to show line and pet line Dobermans, they do not quit. To have a working line Doberman, you will need to provide them with a job, an actual job that they can do daily, almost all day long. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now on to the health comparison of these two breeds. It is sometimes hard to judge which breed is the healthiest when you have to consider all the varying health problems. Unfortunately, this is one case where, hands down, the German short head pointer is the healthier of the two. The German short head pointer is a fairly healthy breed, and they have a pretty average lifespan for a dog of their size at 10 to 12 years. There are some health issues to be aware of, like hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, bloat and cone degeneration, leading to day blindness. Now, this is the part of the video where things get depressing. The Doberman as a breed is currently facing a health crisis, and it is a serious one. Experts in the breed are suspecting the life expectancy for the average Doberman is around eight years. This is due to the incredible lack of genetic diversity in the breed and is causing rampant health issues across the entire breed population. The breed has a downright alarming rate for DCM, which is a cardiac defect that results in sudden death. The worst part is DCM in an individual and the disease typically doesn't present until well after breeding age. And while scientists are finally on the path to find out what gene marks for the disease, they still need to do more research. So if you have a Doberman and you've done an Embark DNA test and you wouldn't mind sharing your dog results, please pay a visit to the Doberman Diversity Project. They are always looking for Doberman DNA samples and it could mean everything for this breed. 
Now with that out of the way, let's talk about some of the other health issues in the Doberman. As DCM is the most critical, it isn't the only health problem. Dobermans are also prone to different types of cancers, wobblers disease and chronic hepatitis. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. With the health issues out of the way, let's get back to the more pleasant topics like the trainability and intelligence of these two breeds. Both of these breeds are incredibly intelligent, though the Doberman is definitely going to be the more versatile of the two. The German Shorthair Pointer is a biddable breed and their smarts make it easy to train, though sometimes their energy and lack of maturity can get in the way. This is why making sure a German Shorthaired Pointer has a good exercise regimen is so important. This breed can also get easily distracted. They are a hunting dog, they are bred to pick up on smells and follow them wherever they may lead. This can make for a pretty big distraction for the German Shorthaired Pointer, especially if the training isn't fun or engaging. And as we mentioned earlier, this breed can have an independent side and for some individuals you will need to work a little harder to get them to see why they want to learn this thing that you're trying to teach them. The Doberman lives and breeds its people and with its incredible intelligence they make for a very easy training experience. But again, this is an active breed and you will have a tough time if the dog is too wound up. We hope you enjoyed this versus video between the German Shorthead Pointer and the Doberman and that it helped you with the question of which breed might be best for you.